Nice. Yeah, done, fixed. So if some of you guys have been watching my previous vlogs, ever since we changed the fuel basket uh, on the GTR here, I've been getting a check engine light and it's because of low fuel pressure. Um, I contacted my tuner and Adam says uh, the cob sensor is the one that triggers it because it thinks that something is wrong with the car and the fuel pressure is not right right on startup and that's why it's triggering that startup uh, check engine light. Um, so the only thing I've changed was just the fuel basket and that's ever since then that's when that check engine light started happening. So I'm thinking there's a check valve inside the factory fuel basket because ever since then it just that's the only thing I can think of because that's the only thing I changed. So I got the radium engineering check valve and uh, I'm going to throw that in to see if that solves that low fuel pressure uh, on, on startup uh, check engine light. So yeah, let's find out. This is a very nice piece you guys, nicely anodized and it's a little marred up a little bit because I've been trying to test fit it but yeah. I'm going to take it apart as you can see and I'm going to go ahead and install it on the, uh, the feed line, not the return line and uh, hopefully this solves the issue you guys. Seriously, who takes off their shoes to go work on their cars, you guys, hey? <laughs> Alright guys, so I got it all buttoned up. It was, man, it was quite a pain in the ass to get it in because it's, it's so thick. I know you guys are probably laughing, but it's pretty girthy, you guys. Finally got it in. Hopefully it's all worth it, you guys. It's all tight back in. Hopefully it's all worth it. Because it's kind of, I don't know, man. It's just, check engine light is just one of those biggest pains in the ass, even though it didn't affect the car, the way the car performed or anything. It's just, a, it's just a, that check engine light. And of course on the GTR, there's two of them. One, it says service engine, and then two with a little triangle. And it's, just... anyways, let's, let's, let's start it up and let's see if I got rid of it. Nice. Go check engine light, you guys. Right, so after driving home, uh, I knew there's something a little bit wrong with the car because it just wasn't hitting boost and then it was just only eight pounds. And I knew right away there's it was had something to do with that check valve. And uh, I opened it back up and it, lo and behold, the, the feed tube was kind of like kinked like a 90 degrees and it wasn't giving it enough fuel. Aramis and I just went and just rerouted everything and got rid of one of the hoses. Uh, unfortunately, sorry guys, I didn't vlog it. I just didn't have my camera at the time. And uh, yeah, so we just bought a couple of 90 degree AN fittings, got rid of one of the tubes, uh, the return line, cause just we didn't need it, it just to be that long, just so the AN fitting just fit nicely. Um, maybe after the video here, I'll just uh, open up the seat and I'll show you guys what I did. but. Yeah, just a little bit of manipulation and that check valve was just a little bit too big and that's the reason why it caused that. But you, know, you guys, now the car just fires up instantly. I don't have to have uh, priming or anything. There's no hesitation and most of all, no check engine light. It's just fantastic. So now we're going to go enjoy some ice cream with my little one. You want to say hi? You want to say hi to dad's vlog? <laughs> See a little can but yeah, my little one's gonna join me today, you guys. So let's go enjoy some ice cream. That is awesome, guys. No hesitation, just fires up, and this is on E85 too. All right, so we're just waiting for the uh, squad to show up. A lot of us are showing up tonight for some ice cream. Unfortunately, uh, no Mr. Markles. He's unable to uh, make it tonight, you guys. Jay, watch. Let, watch me, watch me screw with the Ramas. Probably more, you know. Hey, Ramas. What is it worth to you, right, at the end of the day? Hey, Ramas. Right? Yeah, yes, sir. Your right height is off, man. Oh, no. I gotta get the suspension. <laughs> I don't, uh, the back I promise one. you're delivering the wrong gas. The, the you're, back you're, one settled good, eh? The back one settled good. Man, your right height, no good, but man. The, yeah, but no the good. front one, no, that's, those are, those are I'm always bugging him because he's very conscious about his right height and he, he bought some new, uh, 
lowering springs and it's just not sitting the way he wants it and he's like he's just all up in it. No, it's just up here. Plus, it doesn't help that the car has a slanted look on the back, right? Are you, are you gonna go full coil over? Yeah, yeah. There's no way you're gonna get a spring to settle proper. No. Look at this guy. You, you got the wrong colored glasses. They're supposed to be white like white douchebags. Uh, <laughs> he's not driving the pickup truck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pickup you're not picking up the truck, eh? <laughs> that's when, in the back. That's yeah, when you drive. That's when you drag the truck, eh? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got matching shirts, Lucas. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I forgot my wallet. Can you pay for me? Yeah. <laughs> GTR thing, eh? Yeah, yeah. Because they're broke from motoring their cars. All, the, all those cars. <laughs> GTR guys are always broke from motoring their cars. I'm oh, just kidding. I have, my, I have my wallet. I have my wallet. Good. My wife, Janelle. What what flavor do you want? You can get, you can get whatever you want because I go double. Uncle Chico I said dinner. It. He paying. So I mean this. He said he's paying. I got I got you. Uncle Chico says you, Chico you, cares. Your dad buys too many. So, so that's not the kid scoop. It's a double scoop. You can have any scoop. flavor you want, any topping, but not all of them. <laughs> pick one flavor. No, we can take. We can take double one. scoop. We can double eat scoop. one right now, and we take one to go. They have good for free waffle too. What? What's new and exciting? Nothing. I guess <laughs> huh? Walmart shoes or No, they said uh, <laughs> Jordan 5 trophies. <laughs> yeah, Walmart. No. The start, Ramos, can we get the one from behind you? Um, yeah. No. <laughs> Show them Charles. Oh my god, guys. My so has been so good. My truck. It's like. Ramos, what flavor did we get? Oh, it's a lemon Feel pie like or something. Feel uh, lemon key pie. <laughs> Key lime pie, I guess. <laughs> I'm thinking in Spanish. <laughs> what, what, what flavor is it again? Lemon key pie. What? Lemon. No, no, lemon key pie. <laughs> no, it's key pie. It's key pie. Lime. Key, lime pie. Key, lime. key lime pie. Key lime pie. Oh, I'm man. thinking in Spanish. <laughs> nice chunks of like pie and oh. so good, you guys. This is the typical Filipino Canadian. <laughs> Working socks and socks. Socks. <laughs> Look guys, a BMW! <laughs> yep, the problem is you gotta Those are the family like cars. Yeah. Look at this thing. Everything's gonna smell like that. Yeah. Like vicious. Now that I have the check valve installed, uh, the car fires up just instantly. It's just awesome. Uh, I think it's in combination with the lithium battery, um, new spark plugs, and of course uh, that check valve. Uh, car runs great. Um, now it does. But uh, when I took it home the other night, uh, I knew there's something wrong. It just didn't feel right. And then when you give it gas, it just didn't feel like it's just doing anything. Uh, of course, so I checked out the fueling system because that's the only thing we touched last. And of course, I found uh, uh, there was a kink in the feed line. But I'll show you guys. To enable this check valve from Radium Engineering was it just it was pretty big, you guys. So what we end up doing, Aramis and I instead of it was just so tight to get both lines that was that was supplied so we just ended up deciding to get rid of this hose which is the return line and we ended up keeping or re sorry replacing it with this 90 degree and it fit just perfectly in there so what caused the car to not uh, get full power was to get this in this was end up being kinked right here and it was just getting enough fuel so it just kept on just yeah just keep that in mind if you guys do do the check valve um it's really tight in here you guys all right guys so i had some time to kill right now i'm just waiting for thomas to show up we're about to do a photo shoot with the gtr but i figured you know what i take some time right now to share with you guys and ask you guys what should we do with the channel next should we go on to a new build 
Should we continue with the R35 and put on big turbos? Uh, but the only problem with that is knowing me myself, if I go with big turbos, I'll end up going down the rabbit hole, you guys. And then big turbos, you'll need internals. You need to beef up the, uh, the transmission. Or should I just do mild uh, cosmetics on the outside, like lips, uh, side skirts, and stuff like that? Maybe a new set of wheels. Uh, I'd have I'd have to talk to Gerald about that if we did go that route. What do you guys think? It just you guys are a big part of my channel. Uh, without you guys, my channel wouldn't be even just it just wouldn't be a channel. It just means vlogging my daily stuff. I don't know. So really, realistically, you guys, you are a big part of me and a big part of this channel. And I'd like to hear your guys' input. I was offered a 2J uh, motor. Um, so I was thinking, should I build a 2J? Uh, this that's an iconic motor, you guys. But again, is that what you guys would be interested in? Or another one that came to mind was an S2000, you guys. I absolutely love that car, and it's I think it's a pretty stout motor that we can build, put a turbo on it, or a supercharger. Or what do you guys think? Um, I'm reaching out to you guys because. I'm at the crossroad now. What can we do more with the GTR? Should we continue or should we move on to a new build? And if we build on something, what do you guys want to see? Let me know, comment below you guys. Um, love you guys' input and see where you guys want to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.